Hello, I'm Miss Megan and welcome to Romper Room. We're going to be having a look at some very special Romper Room memories over 25 years. And we'll need some special friends too, our Romper Room teachers. First of all, our Romper Room teacher from 25 years ago, Miss Susan. Then Miss Patricia, Miss Helena too. I'm sure some of the older doobies will remember them. And let's have a look at how Romper Room began many years ago, with Jack jumping out of his house. Home goes the weasel, and the Jack in the Box jumps out of his house. And that means it's time for the Romper Room School. And this is Miss Susan saying hello to you and hello to all the children in Romper Room School today. And now it's time for Romper Room School and this is Miss Patricia saying hello to all my friends at home and hello to all the boys and girls here in Romper Room today. It's time for the Romper Room School. I'm Miss Helena saying hello to you. Well, now we've said hello to everybody, let's do some galloping. That's always a favourite, isn't it? Do you have a stick horse like this? A lot of the friends like to use a broom with a shoe on the top to be the horse's head. Otherwise, you can always use your legs, can't you? They're good to gallop with. Now let's do some galloping, first of all, with Miss Helena and some friends. Then I'll be back with some other friends and we'll go to the farm. Today we're going to go galloping outside and we're going to look right up into the sky and see what we can see. Good girls, thank you for putting the chairs away. Here's one for you, Amanda, there we are. One for, for Melissa as well. Good girl. Have you got your horse ready too? That's the way. Right, we're all ready to go galloping so that we can have some music. Let's tell Mr. Music that we're ready too. Ready please, Mr. Music. Off we go. Oh, come with us and gallop and gallop and gallop. Oh, come with us and gallop. In wrong room today, our animal friends will take us, will take us, will take us. Our animal friends will take us to places far away. So come with us and gallop, and gallop, and gallop. Oh, come with us and gallop to wrong room today. Woo boy. Let's give our horses a little rest. We'll put them over here on the grass. We have a song about a farm and we need a farmer and a farmer's wife. Do you think we'd have enough friends here to, to sing that song? Let's see, we need a farmer and a farmer's wife and a child. Do you know this song at all, Savannah? The I farmer in the dell. Shari knows it too. I think we could sing it because you know it, don't you? Okay. Let's come and stand in the middle with a circle. And we need a farmer. Now I can see someone here who might make a very good farmer. And that's Matthew. Would you like to be our farmer, Matthew? Good boy. We'll all join hands. There you are, Lisa and Barbie join hands. And the farmer can dance and, or skip. Can you skip, Matthew? Great. He can skip around the circle while we all sing and clap the farmer in the dell. So let go hands now that we're in a circle. And we're going to clap and sing the farmer in the dell. Ready, please, Mr. Music. Farmer in the dell, the farmer in the dell. Now the farmer can take a wife and the two of them can skip around while we sing. Who is it going to be? Matthew? Me! Oh, you've got lots of offers. You, would you like to have Savannah or Barbie? Barbie, is it? Yes? All right, you take Barbie's hand and you can skip around together. That's it. And we'll sing and clap. Ready, please, to sing and clap about the farmer takes a wife, Mr. Music. The farmer takes a wife. The farmer takes a wife. The farmer takes a wife. Now, hello, farmer's wife. You can take a child now and take her hand and you can all skip round together. Who are you going to have? 
Shari's going to be the farmer's child. Now, farmer, you come over here because you've got a wife and a child now. Hold their hands and you can skip around while we all clap and sing. The wife takes a child. Ready, please, Mr. Music. The wife takes a child. The wife takes a child. Hi, ho, the The wife takes a child. Now, child, you can come and take a dog to play with. Okay? Who's going to be your puppy? Me. Yes? Oh, we've got lots of offers for that too, but she's chosen Savannah, so we're going to sing Moira and Lisa and you and I, we're going to sing and clap while the farmer and his wife and child and dog go singing, skipping around the circle. Okay, ready please, Mr. Music. The child takes a dog, isn't it? That's it. Hi, ho, the dairy -o. the child takes the dog. Now, the dog has always wanted to play with a little pussycat. So over here and choose a little pussycat to play with too. Who's that going to be? Moira, okay. Well, Lisa, you and I, and you at home are going to clap and sing. Do you remember what it is? The dog takes a cat. That's it. Ready, please, Mr. Music. The dog takes a cat. The dog takes a cat. Hi, ho, the terrier. The dog takes the cat. Now, the cat is going to take a mouse. Where's the mouse? I think this could be a good mouse over here. Would you like to take, where are you, cat? You take the mouse then. We'll sing, the cat takes a mouse and we're going to clap. You'll have to help me because everyone else is skipping, okay? Ready, please, Mr. Music. The cat takes a mouse. The cat takes a mouse. Hi, ho, the terrier. The cat takes a mouse. Now, what do mice like to eat? Cheese. Cheese. Can I be cheese and you all dance around me? Oh, good, and you can sing and clap with me too. All join hands in a big circle, right round. There you are. And you can all dance round the cheese. Let's sing about it. Ready, please, Mr. Music. They all dance round the cheese. They all dance round the cheese. Hi, ho, the dairy -o. They all dance round the cheese. Give yourselves a clap. That was good. I try and trick you with this game and I never seem to be able to do it. You know, the game where we have a look at all the things and then I take some away and move them around and I never trick you. Today might be the day, though. A cow. cow. That's what you find on a farm, isn't it? Yeah. A cow? What about this animal? You tell me. A horse. A horse. Would you find him on a farm too? Yeah. Yes. And a sheep. A sheep. Yes. Um, sheep live on a farm? Yeah. Yes. Zoo. Yes, sometimes they have them in, in the zoo in a special animal farm section, don't they? What about this one? That's a pig. Pig. And? A dog. A dog. Now that dog is a working dog. He helps the farmer look after the sheep and the cows, makes them go where he wants them to be, in the right yard. All those animals then are farm animals. Let's say their names again and maybe we can make the sound they make, okay? This one is a cow. cow. How do the cows go? Moo. Moo. Very good. This one is a horse. How do horses go? Nay. Nay. Very good. And the sheep. How do the sheep go? Nah. Nah. Pigs. Who knows pig? No oh, they're good. Big noises. Yes. And the dog. How does he go? <laughs> right. Now, can you see them all very clearly? The cow, the horse, the sheep, the pig and the dog. This is when I'm going to trick you then because I'm going to say, close your eyes, cover your eyes over and I will take some away and move some around and you'll be so, so confused. Now, well, that should do it. Okay, open your eyes now and have a look and see what's happened. <laughs> it's different, isn't it? The dog was Oh, well, we'll, st we'll, we'll, st we'll start with just that. We'll move that. The, the cow should be at the beginning. I think we all agree on that one. Is that right? The cow at the beginning, right? Then the horse, was he next? Yes, he was. What was in here between the horse and the pig? Was it the dog? No, it wasn't. What was it? 
Was the pig next to the horse? I think there was something in the middle there. The That's it. That was the sheep or the lamb. I think the lamb's the name of the baby sheep, isn't it? This, is a, this one's grown up. And the dog, where did he go? <laughs> He's trying to round up this sheep. Is that where he belongs? No. Where does he go? He's at the end. There he is. That's right. And I didn't trick you. I tell you what, if we got on our, our stick horses and went down to the land of pretend, we could pretend to be those animals, couldn't we? We could make the animal noises and kick our legs up and do whatever the horses and the cows do. Let's do that now. Come and get the horses. And a friend at home, if you don't have a stick horse, you can use your legs to gallop with. Here they are, all waiting in the stable here, ready to go for a ride. They enjoy this. There they are. Now, Moira, you can be our leader and take us galloping around the land of pretend. We come round and round the tables. OK, let's hear you all saying ready, please, in the big, big voice. Ready, ready please, listen to the music. Good. Off we go galloping. So come with us and gallop and gallop and gallop. So come with us and gallop. In our room today, our animal friends will take us, will take us. Take us, our animal friends will take us to places far away. So come with us and gallop and gallop and gallop. So come with us and gallop in the room today. Ooh, woo horsey. Now we'll put them over by this tree. There's a lovely tree here with grass growing around it, and they can all have a little nibble. I like galloping, don't you? I like galloping. I think I might pretend to be the horse myself. Come on, let's be horses ourselves and neigh. Neigh! 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 And when I'm feeling really frisky as a horse, you know what they do? They kick their legs up. Can you do that? Kick your legs up. Just mind out behind you. There's no horses behind you that you don't kick them. Neigh! That was fun. And being a cow, I think, might be fun too. Moo. Moo. I'm a cow looking for some grass to eat. Here's some grass Moo. for me. Here's some grass. Oh, this cow <laughs> says there's nice grass. I, have, I ate all the grass. Oh, we're going to have to look for some more grass. Moo. Moo. Here's some nice grass. Mm. <laughs> we found some more, didn't we? Mm. Sometimes the flies come and bother the cow and they have to swish their tail. You flish, swish the flies away with your tail. There, get rid of them, yes. And another animal that likes to eat grass is a sheep. Bam! <laughs> 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 Found any more grass to eat? <laughs> 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 Hungry sheep eating all the grass. Here comes the dog. Here comes the dog to round us up. You get all those sheep rounded up. I bet it'd be fun to be a pig. Do you think it'd be fun to be a pig? Snorting. And what do they like to do? They like to roll in the mud. Oh, rolling in the mud. Oh, and eating mud, this pig. My goodness. My goodness. That was fun, wasn't it? There's some chickens too on a farm. But chickens don't like grass, do they? What do they eat? Eggs. They, well, they come out of eggs. We could be a little chicken coming out of an egg. Yes. Nope. Imagine being inside that egg and it's time for us to come out. We've got to poke it, haven't we, with our little beak. <laughs> poke it. Poke it. And come out and flap your little wings. <laughs> Can you see any nice grass? They don't eat grass, do they? Any nice seeds? Maybe a worm over here. Oh, listen.
listen. I'm gonna eat all the worms up. All the worms. Save some for us. <laughs> I ate all of them. I think I can hear the horses calling us. I can think I can hear our stick horses saying it's time to go back to Romper Room. We'll go and get them and give them another turn of go. <laughs> give them a pack because they're doing well, aren't they? Good. Did you have a red one? Someone's picked up the wrong one. There you are, Savannah. You can have a green one like me. Ready, please. How about we have Matthew take us back? Come on, Matthew. You can be our leader and take us back to Romper Room. Round the tables we go back to Romper Room. Ready, please, Mr. Music. <laughs> Did you have fun galloping? It's always good fun, isn't it? And now we have a very special friend to say hello to. Someone who always comes to visit us in Romper Room. Someone who's been with Romper Room from the very beginning. Who knows all the teachers and all the friends. Do you know who that is? Yes, it is. It's Mr. Doobie. And he's here right now to say hello to you. Hello, Mr. Doobie. How are you? I'm glad that you're well. And he said a big hello to all the friends who were watching. And have they seen? Yes, they have said hello to the teachers. Yes, Miss Susan, you remember Miss Susan, don't you? And Miss Patricia and Miss Helena. And me, it's nice to say hello to you again too, Mr Doobie. But do you remember how you used to look all those years ago, Mr Doobie, when you were a little bee? Oh yes, you were, you were different, just like the friends are different as they, as they get older. This is a way you used to look, Mr. Doobie. This is how some of the friends used to play with you when, you, when they first started Romper Room. And now, would you like to see some other pictures of you as a young boy with the teachers? Good, let's have a look. Well, here's Mr. Doobie. And he wants to say hello to you today. So you could put Mr. Doobie on your hand and Mr. Doobie could say hello to our friends at home. Thank you, Vicky. Did you take one for Robin too? Oh, you did. That's a good girl. Oh, there you are. That's right. And I'll put one here for Jennifer too. Yes. Could you put your hand up just like the policeman says? Stop. You're doing that. Good boy. Put it right over. Now he's there, isn't he? Brett has him on. Good, Vicky. Shall we wave to our friends at home? There we are. There's Mr. Doobie. He has got a happy face, isn't he? But not that Mr. Don't Be. His face is not very happy, is it? And do you know why? Mr. Don't Be didn't do what Mr. Doobie told him to do. Because Mr. Doobie's message this week says to do be a chair sitter and not to be a chair tilter. But Mr. Don't Be forgot. And when he sat on his chair, he didn't sit with the four legs on the ground. He tilted and tipped his chair, and there were only two legs on the ground. So the chair fell right over, and Mr. Don't Be hurt himself. That's not a good idea, is it? So we must remember what Mr. Doobie tells us, to be a chair sitter, to sit in the chair with a straight back against the back of the chair, and our two feet on the ground, and the four legs of the chair on the ground. Then we'll be a chair sitter and not a chair tilter. Let's sing a song about Mr. Doobie. Shall we do that now? The song says, I always do what's right. I never do anything wrong. I'm a romper room doobie. I do be all day long. We'll sing about that now. Ready, Mr. Music? Always do what's right. a doobie all day long and never do anything wrong isn't it but we do try though here's mr doobie to say hello to you everybody say hello to mr doobie hello mr doobie 
Oh, Mr. Doobie, you're looking so happy today. Have you found lots of good doobies? Mm -hmm. And have you got lots of things for me to tell the boys and girls? Or are you whispering my ear? Yes. Oh, that's a good idea. I think I'll tell them that, shall I? Right there. Mr. Doobie said he could hear you singing and speaking so clearly. He was very, very pleased to hear you. But the other day when he went flying past somebody's house, he heard the phone ring. And one of the doobies went in and picked up the phone and they said, and the person on the other end of the phone couldn't hear what they were saying because they were mumbling. And so Mr. Doobie says, if you have to answer the phone for mummy or if somebody's speaking to you, you try and open your mouth nice and wide we, when you're talking. We do that. You do we, that, yes. Do they that. do, don't they, Mr. Doobie? Yes. So just what about the painting? Oh, thank you for reminding me. Mr. Doobie, have a look right over on the other side of Romp Room, yes, over there, and look what you can see. <gasps> what is it? Yes, it's you. That's right. And do you know who painted that? Have a look over there, and Sonia, you wait for Mr. Doobie so he knows who painted it. Oh, do you like that? Say a big thank you to Sonia for you. Oh, yes, thank you very much, Sonia. Would you like to keep that painting for your house, Mr. Doobie? All right, well, I'll take it down afterwards, and I'm sure Sonia wouldn't mind, would you, Sonia? Oh, that's lovely. Do you want us to sing your song now? All right, we'll get our puppets, shall we? Mm -hmm. Get your puppets on your hand because Mr. Doobie wants you to sing his song and then we'll have a look at your doobie board after that, right? You going to say ready, please, Mr. Music for us, Mr. Doobie? Well, just wait for a little moment because all the boys and girls here have got to get their puppets on and the friends at home. You right? All right. You right, Mr. Doobie? Always do what's right. and say hello to Mr. Doobie. Hello, Mr. Doobie. How are you today? Oh, isn't he lovely? Wave to all the girls and boys, Mr. Doobie. Oh, yes. You can sit down now while Mr. Doobie has a little chat to us, all right? Come and say hello to Mr. Doobie. Louise, that's the girl. He's waving to you, too. <laughs> oh, Mr. Doobie, did you want to hear your song straight away? Oh, I thought so. Well, let's sing Mr. Doobie's special shot song, shall we? All say, ready, please, Mr. Music. Thank you. I try to do what's right and not do anything wrong. I'm a romper and doobie. I do be all day long. Buzz, buzz. Well, Mr. Doobie, you always did bring us messages about safety when you came to see us on Romper Room, and today you still have one, and that is safe places to play or to go. Now, you know this sign, don't you? It's a safety house sign, and perhaps you'll get your mummy or daddy to take you for a walk around your neighbourhood and have a look and see where the safety houses are. And remember, when you're at home, the safe place is in the backyard. Or if you like, maybe a grown-up you know will take you to a playground, a park. Now, what is it, Mr. Doobie? You have something you have something you want to show the friends. All right, will you go and get it? I wonder what it could be. You know he does like to show you his romp room toys. Perhaps he wants a game, Mr. Doobie. Can you see what he has? It's his bean bag. Will I put it on your head? All right, there you are. Now he's ready to have a game with the bean bag. Do you have something you can use too? Good. You remember the day, don't you, Mr. Doobie, when we played with the bean bags and we put three hoops on the floor. Red hoop, yellow hoop, and a green hoop to be the traffic lights. What does green say? Go. What does the yellow or orange light say? Get ready to stop. And the red one says stop. Now, the bean bags are at the end. You could try this with us. You could do some jumping. Pretend you've got something on the floor and jump to your bean bag. We're going to jump into the first green hoop like this. Jump. And we're going to jump into the yellow hoop. Jump. 
what do you think we're going to do into the red? Jump again. And then we can pick up a bean bag and put it on our head and walk around. So we've got three jumps before we pick up the bean bag today. Jump, can you all jump? Yes. Let's have a practice just on the spot of jumping. Very good. You'll have no trouble at all. I'll mind this ribbon for you, okay? My pocket. Jumping, then the bean bag's being picked up. How would you girls all like to say ready please to Mr. Music? Ready, One, two, ready, three. Ready, ready please, Mr. Music. Good. Jackie, you go first. Jumping, 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 and then pick it up. Right, off you go, Renee. Jumping, jumping, and jumping again. Very good jumping. Katie, off you go now. That's it, and Jessica's turn. And now Charmaine. Good. Oh, I didn't get a bean bag. Okay. Now just walk around them. That's right. Just walk around them. Keep that basket off the ground. Watch me hold my head up high. Like a soldier marching by. A back that's straight and strong you see helps to make a healthy me that was beautifully done now mr doobie it always was fun to balance the bean bag wasn't it did you have fun just then balancing your bean bag too mr doobie remember a long time ago we didn't use bean bags we used these baskets, the posture baskets. Now hold your head still because it was very difficult to balance them. Oh, especially if you just had your hair washed and it was very shiny. Now let's have a look at Miss Patricia and some friends as they try to balance the posture baskets. We're going to get something to put on our heads and go walking around and try to keep them very straight. And Stephen remembered the name of them, didn't you? What yeah. were they, Stephen? Posture baskets. Posture so baskets, I. that's right. You know that too. Are you going to use a posture basket like ours? Or maybe you've got a little fruit basket? Or some of you use a hook on your head, don't you? And get a very big, heavy one. Because if it slides off, it'll hurt your toes, won't it? We'll go and get our baskets now. We'll push our chairs under the table and then we'll go walking around in rock. The way you push your chairs right underneath, we might even come walking around the tables. Here's a basket for you, and practice standing very tall and straight. Don't hold your shoulders up like that, because that won't help you grow tall and straight. Hold them just where they should be, and pretend that you're just trying to make your head touch the sky. And I'll put a basket on Sonia's head, and one on Rebecca's. Chin up a tiny little bit, Rebecca, that's the way. You've got lovely shiny hair. Did Mummy wash it for you, yes. did she? Yes, that makes it hard to keep the basket on. <laughs> Mummy washed my hair. Did she, Sonia? Mummy washed my hair. Well, that's good, Peter. You've got a nice straight back. Yes, I can see that. It's lovely and shiny, Stephen, isn't it? And here's one. If you stand on both your feet, Anna, it'll make it just a little easier. Now, it doesn't matter if the basket falls off, does it? Because we can pick it up again. But I'll tell you who's waiting to play this game with us. Mr. Doobie. Mr. Doobie will be in later. I don't think he's here yet. I haven't heard him buzzing yet. But Mr. Music's waiting to play this game with us. So let's put our baskets on our heads. Slowly bring our arms down. And if you listen, you'll hear all the boys and girls at home saying, ready, please, Mr. Music, for us. Thank you. Find a little place to walk around in romper room. You might want to walk around the block table or around our tables over here. Try and have a space all around you. That's it. Very good. Sing with Mr. Music too. See me walk so straight and tall. I won't let my basket fall. Eyes ahead and don't look down. Keep that basket off the ground. Watch me hold. Bit of 
trouble, Sonia, aren't you? Chin up a tiny bit. Let me see if I can help you, Rebecca. That's the way. Good girl. Right, find a little space by yourself, Kathleen, so you won't bump anyway. And sing too. Sleep. still be on your head but it's not on your head is it Mr Doobie? No, it's very difficult to keep the posture basket or the bean bag on your head. You have to try and keep your head still. Do you like standing still? Like Punchinello? Yes! You remember Punchinello? Well, long ago in Romper Room we had a friend called Stanley that the children used to dance around and then stand very still. Then he joined the circus and became Punchinello. Let's have a look now at Stanley and then when he became Punchinello. I wonder if this time we could have a turn where our feet are nice and still together and then we'll be able to say, stay just like Stanley. Melissa, your turn now. Move his arms or his legs. Which one would you like to do? Hmm? Where would you like him to have his hands? That's it. What about this one? He might like to put it on his hip. Sometimes Stanley puts his hand on his hip. That's the way. Come on round here, Louise, and you do his legs how you'd like us to have our legs. That's it. Oh, I don't think I can do that. I'll try, but I don't think I can. I think we'll have to keep this one straight, won't we? And pa oh, I can see what you've done. Stanley's holding his leg like that, is he? And the other hand out like that. We might be able to stay still. I wonder, yes, I'm managing it. <laughs> Trying very hard. I wonder if we can do it. Yes, hold your leg like that. Hold your foot. That's the way. Oh, good. Now, we've had a jumping turn and a skipping turn. What would you like to do this time? A running turn. A running turn? Let's go running then. The and help me say, ready please, Mr. Music. Ready, ready please, Mr. Music. Mr. Music. Off we go. <laughs> Stop everyone, hold your foot. One hand out. <laughs> oh dear. Mm, there's some people at home who are very still. That looks like he's been doing a bit of dancing and then he's standing still. Or maybe, maybe he'd do a bit of fencing with a... Yes, I think so. Let's see how we can stand like that. Now, first of all, we've got to bend one leg and then put the other one straight out like that. And then this arm that's above the bent knee, that goes straight out. And then we bend the arm that's above the straight leg, point it up like that. Very good. I think we can all do that, you two at home. All right, now we'll stand up, ready to do some marching. Ready, please, Mr. Music. What can you do, Punchinello Bunny Bellow? What can you do, Punchinello Bunny you? Now we can do it too, let's sing it to him, we can do it too. We can do it too, Punchinello Bunny Bellow. We can do it too, Punchinello Bunny you. Oh, look what's Really? He must be watching us doing this. Can you do what Punchinello does? Bent leg, another straight out, straight arm and a bent arm at the elbow with fingers pointing up. Let's see if we can hold it for three. One, two, three. Ah, oh, now we've done it, Punchinello. Thank you. 
Oh, Mr Doobie, you're much better at the punch ball than you were with the bean bag and the posture basket. Let me take it out of your mouth and invite everyone to join in and play the game with us. This is one of my favourites, the punch ball game. But do you have a punch ball at home? Perhaps you have a balloon on a string. Or you could be like me and have a pretend punch ball. What do you think our pretend punch ball could be like? What about red with purple spots? All right, let's have a turn now of the punch ball. Can you play the punch Will you play this game with us now? Here's a punch ball. Who hasn't got one? You no, right, Michael? Yes, there you are, Sunil. Let's find a space where we can spread right out and put our punch balls out in front of us this turn. Will you all help me say, ready, please, Mr. Music? Ready, please. while you're punching. Oh, that's good. I like that. I'm going to have a running turn. Now change hands while we sing this time. Punch, 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 punch your ball. The punch is so much fun. Use your wrist or hand or fist and keep it on the run. Punch, punch, punch your ball. No matter what you do. The roly-poly punch your ball keeps coming back to we try the way that Kerry's punching with the elastic round our wrist and just sing it like that. fun, wasn't it, Mr. Doobie? But now it's time to put the punch balls away. Yes, you can put yours away now because we're going to sing some songs with some very good friends from the North Rock Special School for Multi-Handicapped Blind Children. I'm very glad they've come along to help us sing Old MacDonald Had a Farm and the first animal is going to be the cow. Ready? Who'd like to say ready, please, this time? Maybe yeah. Melissa would like to say ready, please. Melissa has a special book and she's going to point to it now. Melissa wants music, please, Mr. Music. Good. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. Ready to moo with a moo. Doobie says he has a favourite animal at the farm that's all woolly, isn't it, Mr. Doobie? And he makes a special sound that goes, bah, bah. Who 
can make a bad. Very good, everybody. Can you see? Yes, Mr. Doobie can say bad too. All right then. Who else could say? How about we all say ready, please, together? Are you going to help to Joshua and Jessica? Ready, please, Mr. Music. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some sheep, E-I-E-I-O. With a bar here and a bar there, here a bar there, there, everywhere bar. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Very good. Now, Mr. Doobie, what is it? Oh, excuse me, I just have to speak to Mr. Doobie. All right, now Mr. Doobie has to go and get some of his uh, toys ready. He's going to get his marching thing, and he's going to get his punch ball, yeah, and bean bag. All right, Mr. Doobie, that's fine. You go and get them. We'll sing the clapping song. All right, I'll leave the hive open for you. Yes, because he's going to be back. Now, are we ready to do some clapping? Clapping today with, if you can, go have a little practice, two fingers on one hand, and two fingers on the other hand. That gives us a soft clap. We'll try that first of all if we can. Yes. All right then. Ready please. Mr. Music. For clapping. Can you clap your fingers? Let's try it together. Clapping, clapping, softly clap. Clapping, clapping, clap, clap, clap. Roll them over, over so. Now get ready, off we go. Clapping, clapping, softly clap. Clapping, clapping, clap, clap, clap. Now, we've done soft clapping. What about big clapping? Can you do that? Yes. Clapping, clapping, loudly clap. Clapping, clapping, clap, clap. Good, Daniel. Roll over, over so. Now get ready, off we go. Clapping, clapping, loudly clap. Clapping, clapping, clap, clap, clap. Very good. Joshua can do it. Jessica, Melissa, and Belinda, and Rocky too. Now have a look down at your feet. We're going to do little tapping with our feet. Can you tap your feet? Good boy. Who's going to tap? Tapping, tapping, softly tap. Tapping, tapping, tap, tap, tap. Roll them over, over so. Now get ready, off we go. Tapping, tapping, softly tap. Tapping, tapping, tap, tap, tap. Now, a little bit bigger tap if you can manage it with your feet. Tapping, tapping, loudly tap. Tapping, tapping, tap, tap, tap. Roll them over, over so. Now get ready, off we go. Tapping, tapping, loudly tap. Tapping, tapping, tap, tap, tap. Now give yourselves a big clap. Because you were so good, you can clap yourself. I'm so glad that the friends from the North Rocks Special School for Multi-Handicapped Blind Children could come along and help us with those songs. And wasn't it nice to see Rocky Wolf it too? Yes. Well, Mr. Doobie, now I want to see if you can touch your toes. Can you bend over and touch your toes too without bending your knees? Can you? And what about reaching up, touching the sky and the stars? Can you do that too? Well, then you're ready to play Bend and Stretch, one of your favourites, I know. And we're going to join some friends and Miss Patricia, who came to a romper room birthday party many years ago. Will you all help me say, Ready, please, Mr. Music? Ready, please, Mr. Music. Yeah. 
special romper room show but I know that you'd like to have a turn with all the friends singing your favourite singing game. Do you know what Mr Doobie's favourite singing game is? It's Looby Loo. Yes Mr Doobie he remembers the day we had the romper room 25th birthday party. We had lots of friends that day. Some romper room friends who were so grown up they had their own children and they brought them to we had such a good time. Would you like to join us all now in singing Looby Loo again? Well, first of all, you have to make a big circle. Are you getting into a circle at home too? Perhaps you can get mum and dad or a big brother and sister to join in too, right? Okay, now, Mr Music did hear us last time when we said ready please. Let's make, let's give him one to remember us by. Come on. Ready, please, Mr Music! Oh yes, here we go. Here we go, Looby Loo. Here we go, Looby Loo. Here we go, Looby Loo.
that everybody remembered how to do it. That was the practice, okay? That was our practice. And now we can do it again for real, okay? Yeah. All right, all right. All right. Once more to Mr. Music. Really the last time. Come on. Ready, please. Mr. Music. Party. We enjoyed ourselves. Did you have a good time with us too? I think it's time now to look in the magic mirror. Do you remember the magic words? Romper bomper, stomper boo, tell me, tell me, tell me do. Magic mirror, tell me today. Have all of my friends had fun at play? I can see you, and I'll see you again tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the romper room school. These are the special words I'm going to say. Rumpa bumpa stompa boo. Tell me, tell me, tell me do. Magic mirror, tell me today. Have all my friends had fun at play? And of course I can see you. I'm looking right at you now. And I'll be looking for you again another day in the romper room school. Rumpa bumpa stompa boo. Tell me, tell me, tell me do. Magic mirror, tell me today. Have all my friends had fun at play? And I can also see you, and I'll look for you another day, same time, in the Romper Room School. Romper, bomper, stomper, boo. Tell me, tell me, tell me, do. Magic mirror, tell me today. Have all my friends had fun at play? Yes, all the friends have had fun at play. They're smiling and nodding their heads. And we've had a wonderful time too, sharing our memories of Romper Room with you. We hope to bring you some more in the future. <laughs>